So over these past two weeks, I've been mostly working on optimization and trying to get things to run better. So while doing that, I've come across some things that would probably help uh, with the game design. So here you can see that I've, uh, again, set up spotlights to try to get the real-time shadows that I want, as well as the ambient kind of lighting. And if I divide the room into two pieces, I can also have two real-time lights, or three or four, or how many ever I want. As long as uh, they're not touching the same object, I can get that uh, good real-time lighting that I want for if a player picks up a cube or does something like that. You may also see that the texture design that I've gone for for these new levels, instead of the old design that I had before, was to have more of a grid-based kind of texture. And you can see that here. Uh, it kind of helps the player still get a grip on what the when they're moving forward, but it kind of makes it much easier for me to design levels quickly. And as usual, that's probably not going to be the final design either. So you can see here when I enter into play mode. So this is this room here is the spotlight room. I'm considering just using spotlights for the whole game because I can render real time shadows. Uh, with a light rate render pipeline instead of having point lights. And if I walk over here, you can see how the button is also lined up properly with the grid. And again, nothing here is really final. I probably will adjust the textures before I ever even release the game. Uh, the door texture will also probably change because I'm not exactly sure I'm really happy with the way that it looks right now. So during this devlog, I also wanted to talk about uh, my plans for the future of the game. So I was thinking about releasing it on itch.io and that's probably where the final release will be. I plan to release it in a complete and done state. Um, when it's done is probably determined by how many levels I have. I was thinking either 30 to 40 levels uh, with different gameplay elements. Some of the gameplay elements you've already seen, but I have some other ideas that I really want to try out before I uh, show them to you. So I also want to talk about story elements in this game. So right now, the basic story that I have is that you're a maintenance spot in a facility who's trying to fix a breach somewhere on the lower levels of that facility. And you have a little helper bot that is the ball that you've probably seen in earlier devlogs. And... I was thinking about getting the player model done very soon. Hopefully I can get that uh, by the next time I didn't get a devlog up. So, not too much else to talk about. So I think that's probably the end of this video. Thanks for watching.